How long have you been doing this for? Um, I've been drawing my whole entire life. Uh, as far as like trying to paint and stuff like that, probably since like early childhood, just getting cans and making messes and stuff like that, and then picking it up like in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, what class is this for? English. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm doing a documentary on street art. Do you think there's a difference between vandalism and street art? 100%, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Street art, so to speak, I think it just takes... It's like, uh, it takes all the... It just glamorizes everything out of graffiti, so to speak, without any of the penalty, kind of. So, there's, sometimes there's some resentment between the two factions. class is way cooler than it was when I was in English class. <laughs> High school man. <laughs> Read Shakespeare and shut up. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Have you ever messed up on a... Huh? Have you ever messed up on one? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it's very easy to fix, but yeah, this kind of stuff takes a lot of trial and error. I'm not there at all yet, in my opinion. I'm still learning. <clears throat> How many cans of paint do you go through? What's that now? How many cans of paint do you go through? Well, I don't know. I haven't been really painting a lot at all. I've been doing. I do a lot of like oil painting and portraits and stuff like that. Coming back to this, a lot. Yeah, just like from commercial jobs and stuff like that, you get. That's the best way to get your paint. And yeah, I've gone through quite a bit. Why did you start doing graffiti or like street art like this? I, when I was a little kid, I saw these three, uh, in Albuquerque as a matter of fact, I saw these three huge cartoon characters in a, uh, in a ditch. I was like four years old and they had, uh, they were wearing like these white Adidas tracksuits and they had jerry curls. And the middle one, because there was three of them, he had this huge boom box. And I was just, I knew from that point on, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of that before, if anything, you know. And it just fast forward to today, I guess. <laughs> what made you take notice of it? I like the Hulk. What's that? The or the rock that you did oh, on the okay. side of the comic house. Oh, okay. Do you ever do stenciling? Nah. Do you think it's <laughs> Yeah, I cut one and that was enough for me. I'm good. Do you do this other places besides Albuquerque? Um, you know, to be honest with you, no. I never have done anything like that. I've had paintings that I've sold of my stuff go to other places. You can say my art travels farther than I do. But no, not, not out of state yet. What inspired you to put your work on a wall? It's just, uh, a lot of reasons. It's, it's good advertisement. It's kind of nice to like have my pick as to what I get to see every day as opposed to just advertising or whatever. It's nice to add your own, a piece of your own self to something. You know, it, it provokes thought. You know, you see every day you see the same advertisement, things like that. If you see something different, you know, it gets the wheels in your mind working a little bit. So. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Wish I got a little further <laughs> on the piece, but that's okay, I guess. 